How's it going there, everybody? It's Mr. Zen over here bringing guys a brand new One Punch Man chapter discussion. And for today's segment, guys, we're going to be talking about is chapter 83, folks. Genos versus Garu himself was just the epitome of everybody's thoughts as to how Garu will hold out against Genos. I personally was waiting until this actual chapter came out, folks, because of the fact that I was curious, really, I was really curious, was Genos really going to take Garu back to the Hero Association, or was he just going to just just say, you know what, we're done with this common criminal, we're just done, no, no folks, you who would have guessed it, that we would get that full-fledged fight, but just to be interrupted by Bomb and Fang themselves folks oh man and of course you know the the monster associations little little tiny fodder of people that are, that are just coming out of the hole just to try to save Gaur. but you know we they're, they're just nobodies they're just nobodies they're just there in the background to make the the action sequence seem much more cooler but nonetheless though the freaking fight against genos versus garu was intense you guys all have to admit that that fight was something to look forward to even if it's not animated i love the fluid action of yusuke murata's art style every single time he's drawing genos or actually any of garu's fights they're always so fluid and that's the thing too that you we saw that genos and garu are both constantly evolving you see these s-class heroes these s-class enemies these drag like we just see them they're constantly just evolving and developing their own techniques and going d differentiating themselves from the other enemies themselves because if you guys saw, Genos was well prepared to actually go against Garo himself. You saw that. You guys really saw that. That was definitely intense. You see just Genos constantly machine gun blowing Garu himself. And of course, Garu at the, at, you know, of course, Garu himself at the tip of this, like, the peak of whatever willpower he has left over. He's just trying his best. Even with his martial arts techniques, it still wasn't enough to take down Genos himself. But the thing that I think that Garu was definitely getting the upper hand, the only thing that really was that he was able to gain the upper hand is changing battle techniques. Being very fluid, being, how do I say this? He was, he was so fluid in emotion that unpredictable, there you go, that's the word for it. He was unpredictable for Genos. And that unpredictability is what caught Genos sometimes off guard. Because if you guys saw, when Genos is actually attacking Garu, you saw that Garu actually gained some techniques from Watchdog Man himself. Which is very interesting too, because you're looking at this like, wow, you know, wow. I thought that he, I thought Watchdog demolished Garu, but in a sense, no. He technically, technically folks, wow, he learned from him. He learned from, he learned that, you know, like, just go in basic instinct, primal survival mode in order to fend off against his overwhelming opponent in order for him. Because technically, that's what Garu is doing. He's just, he's just going on pure instinct now. There's nothing else. If you guys saw, even when Bomb and Fang came into the action, Garu himself, blurred vision, just, he only, he's only able to hear whatever is, is in front of him with, with, with no sense of direction, just, basically just instinct just taking over and you see the way that that fang and gauru just going oh my god like i have no words to describe like you could tell yusuke murata drew that scene very beautiful i love the fact that though you could you i literally heard the leaves blowing seeing just how intense that scene was because you see freaking gauru get up broken beaten and shattered and Fang just tells him, get up, accept it, come on now, take your stance, like, oh my god, like, is this for real, you could, and Garu's just like, like half, like half, not, not even awake, he's not even fully conscious, he's just looking, takes the stance with his freaking battered arms, and you just see Fang, out of nowhere, wah, just demolish this guy and the chapter ends like what 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 like what this 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 came out that you get no there, there has to be more it was already 57 pages 57 pages and we're like what 
No, like we want more. I can't wait for the next chapter to come out because I want to see what's going to happen. Who is going to save Garu? Is it going to be one of the dragon level threat monsters that are going to be coming out of the hole? There has it has to be somebody. It has to be the Elder Centipede. I can't think of anybody else that might actually say in order for them to all for every single one of them to all be incapacitated or at least to actually be able to get Garu away from it. It has to be. I I even personally thinking that the Elder Centipede will come out and actually try to stop Bomb Fang and Genos. That's the only reason. I think that the Elder Centipede might this might be his last call. Because if I remember correctly in, in the actual webcomic series, he wasn't too much involved in the story. Not too... I forgot. I actually forgot who, who actually took down the Elder Centipede in the webcomic version. I actually forgot. I'm pretty sure it, this this might be the place that it, that Elder Centipede might actually have its resting place. By having three strong, powerful S-Class heroes. Bam! Elder Centipede come in and then the Monster Association comes in and they actually take... They take Garo away. In order for him to select that he can be saved. Because there's no way after this. Look, they, they got Genos. Then there's there's Bomb. And you guys saw how crazy how strong Bomb is. Bomb just literally demolished like the the smaller little little demon level threat creatures right there with his own technique. And it looked like it was wind too at the same time. It, it didn't even look humane the way he just he crushed his opponent. The opponent was just blown to smithereens. No, actually not blown. He was sliced to smithereens. My freaking god, like, I'm telling you guys, the next chapter is going to be intense. We're going to get a full Genos, Bomb, and Fang simultaneously fight together against the Elder Centipede. I just think so. I literally think it's the Elder Centipede is going to come in and it's going to actually save Garu. There's no, other, there's no other way in order for them to actually have it. Man, but that's going to be freaking intense though, folks. Like I'm telling you guys, this chapter was definitely, definitely interesting. And I love the fact that the dialogue itself was very interesting too, as we got to see that Garu himself is making a name for himself, as he was proclaiming himself to be the best monster out there. The best one, with his his hair soaked, soaked in his own, in his own freaking, you could say victories oh oh man that was intense folks that was intense but needless to say we got the comic relief part of saitama himself in there and i i kind of saw that as very as a, as a way of like yusuke Murata's actually way of writing saying that oh okay now that genos is going to be you know involved in the actual <laughs> attacks you could tell that Satan was like, oh man, Genos, he'll be fine. No, wait, never mind, no. I, I better go just to check up on him. Because Saitama knows that his student is going to try his best, but it, he might get demolished a little bit. It's so funny, the master and student bond that they have, that Saitama knows that Genos is going to get himself hurt a little too much. It's hilarious. I wonder how, how Saitama is going to come about seeing as to what, how Genos is going to be. I'm wondering too if... If this is the way for actually them bringing is King as well into the story as well, because King himself, remember, he's, he's still in Z City. So King has to come into the story as well. Remember, he was actually involved in the Monster Association arc. So maybe they're going to bring bring it all back to Z City right now while they're es helping Garo escape. And that's where it's all going to accumulate and bring the S-Class heroes back into Z-City in order for the story to propel itself forward. Like I said, it's very interesting how the story is going to propel itself forward. But I can't wait. Can't wait to see more, folks. Let me know down in the comments below as to what are you guys' thoughts on the chapter itself. Did you guys enjoy it? Did you guys love this pumped-up action thrill chapter of a, of a freaking fight? Genos. Genos, man. Genos is learning, folks. Genos is definitely upgrading itself. And even Garu, too. I love the fact that Garu... I'm loving how char the Garu's character is developing. He's, de he's developing very slowly and, and, and rising up the ranks. It's very interesting. But like I said, let me know down in the comments, guys. What are you guys' thoughts? And as always, guys, did you guys think that the Elder Centipede will be the dragon threat level monster that will come out to save Garu? Or do you guys think it's another one? If so, let me know down in the comments. And as always, guys, if you guys enjoy my content, smash that subscribe button and comment away, folks. And as always, guys, hope to see you guys again in the next video. But peace out, folks.